you should know that by being a racing driver, you are under risk all the time. And by being a racing driver means you are racing with other people. And if you no longer go for a gap that exists, you're no longer a racing driver. Because we are competing. We are competing to win. On May 1st, 1994, the world lost Ayrton Senna, a motorsports legend at just 34. Not only was he one of the greatest racing drivers of all time, but he was also the first Gaijin driver to be truly embraced by the Japanese. Here's why. Honda is respected as a new Japanese maker who went from starting to build cars in 1962 to winning a Grand Prix in 1965 in just two years. However, Honda left F1 for 15 years after driver Joe Schlesser died in a fire at Rouen les essars in 1968. Honda's love of building amazing engines never ceased, however, and it returned to the sport in 1983. However, its comeback was a small one, as an engine supplier to Williams and Lotus, the latter of which Senna drove for. Japanese driver Satoru Nakajima brought Senna some Japanese attention when he joined the Lotus team, but Senna was never given the car he needed for true greatness. While the Lotus chassis was adequate, the engines really sang, and as a result, Senna and Honda developed a strong relationship that would lead to one of the most exciting eras in Formula One. In 1988, McLaren signed a deal with Honda to form the legendary McLaren Honda team with Senna and his greatest rival, the first French F1 champion, Alain Prost. Thus began the 1988-91 winning streak that became known as the Honda era in motorsport. Distinguished by its distinctive red and white Marlboro livery, the team won 35 races in four years, extending the Powered by Honda winning streak to six consecutive seasons. Senna's driving exploits are well documented elsewhere, so we'll focus on his significance to Japan's automotive world. However, his qualifying lap at the 1988 Monaco Grand Prix, an unimaginable 1.427 seconds ahead of arguably the second best driver at the time, Alain Prost, says it all. Senna's success made Honda and other Japanese brands a global force. Japan was serious. Notably, this reminded everyone of Honda's heritage in F1 and the innovative path it took in motorsports. Indeed, Honda was thought of as an outsider compared to the other Japanese car manufacturers. All of this came on the heels of the bubble economy and led to a golden age of technology that produced advances like the double wishbone Civic, VTEC, and the venerable NSX. Variable valve timing may seem commonplace today, but it was futuristic stuff back then, further cementing Japan's position as a purveyor of groundbreaking automotive science. While Senna was a great ambassador for Honda in the rest of the world, he was also an ambassador for Formula One in Japan. He popularized the sport in Honda's home country, was the first F1 driver to have a solid otaku following, and is the main reason why F1 remains incredibly popular in Japan to this day. Numerous references to Senna can be found in Japanese manga and anime of his era. Senna also brought a lot of attention to the Suzuka circuit, which he loved very much. Both controversial races in his historic rivalry with Prost, in which they fought for the championship, took place at Suzuka. Soichiro Honda himself was also a great admirer and friend of Ayrton Senna. And in return, Senna served as a spokesman in many Japanese Honda commercials of the time. In addition to his unquestionable driving skills and charismatic role as a spokesman, Senna was a great sportsman and fearless competitor. Senna and Prost's most memorable encounter came in 1990 at Suzuka, the penultimate race of the season. Senna had secured pole position just 0.232 seconds ahead of Prost, who had since joined the Ferrari team. Senna also led the overall points for the season, with Prost close behind. However, a dispute with the president of the F1 sanctioning body, Jean-Marie Balestre, resulted in Prost getting the better grid position. At the very first corner of the first lap of the race, just after the green flag had dropped, Senna crashed headfirst into Prost, sacrificing himself and his chances of winning by taking Prost out of the race. The crash, one of the boldest moves in F1 history, secured Senna the driver's championship and McLaren Honda the constructor's championship. With only one race left in the season, Prost, even if he finished first, would not be able to overtake Senna in the points. Senna's partnership with Honda ushered in a golden era of innovation and his iconic battles on the Suzuka circuit remain etched in the history of motorsport. His impact extended beyond the track, 
serving as a testament to the power of the human spirit and determination. Ayrton Senna will forever be remembered as a symbol of excellence, a true sportsman and a legend whose influence continues to inspire generations. Subscribe to the channel for more compelling stories like this and don't forget to hit the like button. There's plenty more to come.